Um, this was the greatest film of all time, 10 out of 10. And before you guys review, just remember, did you get a reaction out of this film? If so, then it should also be a 10 out of 10. I gave you one chance. One chance! And you had to go and shove it in our face like some... Listen, this was the greatest reaction anyone's ever had to any movie in the entire history of October Horror. Yeah, fuck you! You may hate me, but you will know my name. I have not been this violently angry over a fucking movie in so long! I am, I am having such a hard time right now. Okay, so I can't put all of my fucking strife into words, so I have to move around. Excuse me, is that the mirror? Yes! <laughs> I'm going to break it over Dylan's head. Here's my rating. In honest to God, zero out of ten. I think that is more disrespectful than negative anything I've ever given in any movie ever. get a chance to have sex with anybody in the car. Okay, I have to <laughs> it should be recording. Yes, we are. Hello, everyone. Today is the greatest day on the planet Earth. <laughs> this is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check production, <laughs> Mike Check movie review. And I don't know why the fuck we're re reviewing this movie. Yeah, it is. Because I, I had never seen it before. Me neither. It's I fucking so, hate this it's movie. It's beautiful. It's so good we had to do it twice. No! no. <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, like a giant bouquet of. It's even turns. better at watching it the third time. <laughs> third time? Oh. Why would you watch it? You know, <laughs> Three it's probably, times. It's probably a good idea we watch this second so we could take Godzilla more seriously. I'm, okay. ju I'm just disappointed okay. that the movie was only an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was uh, 67 minutes. Oh, damn and it. it felt still somehow about Two hours 37 long. minutes too long. <laughs> 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 It like must have been the deep exposition the in the story. <laughs> the friendship scene was too long. <laughs> the last time we reviewed it, though, there was too much violence in it, and it was hard to take it for the account that it should have been. Dylan, I want you to confess for your fucking crimes. It's all over this page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Revenge pissing. Violent pissing. Violent pissing. <laughs> I want to throw things. Now. Well, there's a good supply of shoes here. <laughs> Dylan, do you feel safe? Uh, not really. But... You feel satisfied, perhaps, by showing us such a piece of shit? If I die tonight, I will die a happy man. It would be the clothes! They're going away! You have angered me! <laughs> so... Get him! Get him! <laughs> okay. I, I feel like, then, the, the onus is upon us. To given why. given given that it is our first time seeing this film for us yes. us for us to actually lead off so this movie was batshit fucking stupid and crazy <laughs> so stupid <laughs> like this tastes like turds cuz i put turds in the coffee i wanted to reverse oh uh, okay God. wipes more poop on his face she just disappeared <laughs> the whole movie hey dad hey dad How's it going, Dad? <laughs> you look like a turkey. <laughs> they turkey didn't even with mention a skin mask. <laughs> Wait, oh, somehow right. you're a foot and a half tall. <laughs> Wait, if that skinless thing is the sheriff, you're a turkey. <laughs> you're the turkey. <laughs> I'm so glad this day happened because it brought us so close together in the house where your dad has no face. The best part was the toxic waste. <laughs> The toxic waste toxic that none of us noticed. <laughs> <laughs> when they looked into it, there's no way he survived that. He would have had to have been thrown into a bucket of toxic, toxic waste. waste. End of movie. Bites turkey leg. Wow, girl. <laughs> that was good keeping in the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
okay, so, like, she, they, he gets tossed into the fucking pyre, which was just, it uh, just appeared there. Um, and then a, a turkey, like, flies out of the pyre and lands on the fucking ground. And then she picks it up. And it, you're like, oh, she's going to have, like, one of the Renaissance Fair turkey legs. Or, and she has, like, a little fucking <laughs> can of chicken, chicken legs. It looks like it's been rolled in mud. <laughs> it looks yes. like it's been rolled in mud. <laughs> or the fucking shit that her mom put in the, the coffee pot earlier. <laughs> it looked nasty as hell. I, was, I don't want to eat that chicken. Takes bite. It's just impossible to talk about this movie because it's... It's so bad. <laughs> okay, okay. The CGI <laughs> of the floating cooked turkey was like so good. So the okay, so the that is one redeeming quality. Um, that is one redeeming quality of this movie. The CGI in this film was better than Godzilla 1998. <laughs> it was. So I do have a little bit bit of trivia that I looked up while I was in the bathroom about this. Um, Listen, I do not want to hear that. I do not want to hear. <laughs> so, so, um, well, before I went in there, he asked me to look at the numbers. Unfortunately, I, I could only find the budget. They had no recollection of how much they actually made. So I'm going to assume they made no money. Um, but $3,500 was the budget, and there was actually two sequels that were sprung from this. We already know Thanks Killing 3, but there's another one. Both of them were fan-funded. For Thanks Killing 3, they, they f- funded $104,000 to fund the second movie, and then they also made a musical. I did not know that. Oh, music! Oh, the mic's over here, Mike. Oh, it still hurt him. I guarantee. Wait a second. Wait, Musical. Musical. Fan funded completely. Fan funded. Thanks, Killing Musical. And I thanks know. to the musical, that's where they're like, hey, we should make another one. And then they raised over $100,000 <laughs> for another one. So they made the first one, and then they're like, wow, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. We should turn it into a musical. <laughs> and then that musical inspired them to go to space in the third and, one. And, and, and thanks, Killing Oh, they actually yes. go to space? Yes. While okay. he's hunting down all of the copies of the musical, I'm assuming? Of Thanks, Killing 2. Of Thanks, Killing 2. The movie they that they... The copy except for one. Because right. they never wanted to make a second one. and Because they're like, we can't afford that. And then they're we like, here's $100,000. Yeah, <laughs> you could have paid me 10 bucks to do it on a wiki. Funny enough, I was looking on the credits on Wikipedia as well, and everyone but one person had fake names that were not linked to any actual accounts. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me that General Bastard is not a real person's name? Unfortunately. This movie's getting a negative now. What about the tits in the beginning? Oh, we, yes, we have not yet mentioned the opening shot of this glorious it's film. It's a fucking nipple. Yep, it's, it's straight up a tit. Just right there in the camera. It's just a tit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay, what would you guys want? The yes. best joke, obviously. Yes. And best friend. No, 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 no. <laughs> the best joke, obviously, is the one that they made four fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> about about the Wendy Lust character's legs uh, being harder to close than the John Bonet Ramsey case. It's... A very timely reference, even in two thousand and nine, when the movie was made. Just as wide as the camera legs right now. <laughs> <laughs> we had issues. Okay, so this is actually funny. So uh, the only person that actually was like, yeah, a tribute to this to me, was a programmer who who's known for playing dead bodies. And he played oh, the, the... yeah, the, the dead body guy. Yes, so he <laughs> specifically was the dead body of the sheriff that they were dragging. Wait, and he's the only the person... Sheriff? No. They used a different body. They used this dead body guy. And he <laughs> was the only one that was like, yeah, I want credited for this film. <laughs> there's, there's no way. There's no way they're like, we could put this in the budget. Let's pay another guy. <laughs> Why do you think in the credits he's the only one with a fucking nickname in it? And he's probably the only one they gave any money to. Everyone else is like, I just want to do this. 
the killing of the nerd was actually pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's talk For about the three thousand dollars. The death scenes in like everybody's death scene in in this movie. Like, yeah, okay, the the nerdy kid Darren or whatever. Uh, his his death scene, honestly, not the worst death yeah. scene that I've ever seen in a terrible horror movie. Yes. But it was the only decent death scene in the whole movie. <laughs> um, I think the opening death scene was the best. Uh, the the topless pilgrim. Yeah. Well, she just happened to be in her natural environment. <laughs> With her tits hanging out for literally no fucking reason. <laughs> what about the gravy condom? <laughs> that oh, was... God, no. No. That was no, a low no, point. No, 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 no. That was so bad. We are not talking about... The, the the rape of the of the girl <laughs> the rape and murder of the of the slutty girl it's so. like dad the only person who got any besides that random dude was, was the fucking turkey? turkey it's insinuated that somebody else got some too oh, why, oh, oh yeah. i think that's why it's a fan favorite the, the 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 friendship scene between the redneck character and the nerdy guy yes where it is heavily implied through uh homoerotic subtext that they definitely <laughs> fucked they definitely fucked. Yes. At the beginning you're, uh, of that scene, you're like, okay, well, they're just friends. And then the ice cream cones and switching them. Like, nope. Oh, no. Skip and nerdy guy at the beginning, when they're on the road, I'm going to have sex with somebody in this car. <laughs> like, the, this, I, I don't have words. <laughs> I don't have words for this movie. This movie, what do you think I'm saying? Nothing. <laughs> this movie is so good. You should put it down. Worse than to watch it on. What the fuck? I agree. For days. <laughs> it's only an hour. They're like, it's been ten days. Actually, we only watched it twice. <laughs> Michael, you look like you have a rebuttal. Here comes here the it, mic check. Here it comes. You gotta face the friends at home. Face the friends at home. Tell the fans. I fucking hate this movie. <laughs> That's what it was. I fucking hate this movie. They may love it for their own personal reasons. Krieger here so that he likes to torture me with this bullshit. <laughs> he remembers the murder that could have happened with him last time against me and Taylor. But I fucking hate this movie. And I only did it because Stone and Krieger both wanted to double feet this film you with keep Godzilla. Saying this. <laughs> I keep saying it because Krieger was like, hey, Stone wants to come over and watch Godzilla and thanks killing, so he made it sound like it was your idea. Well, I think he used the, his Godzilla as a In the famous movie. words of Turkey, ha, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought you were a And <laughs> <laughs> you got stuffed, Mike. <laughs> That's a feel. <laughs> so, this is beautiful. Look at this man fall apart on camera. We love this man. Wait, wait, do that again. Do that. So you can hear it. I can't do it. I'll come back. <laughs> so, I, I believe. I believe that our, our friend here. Senor Miguel Sheck um, <laughs> has has been broken by by being forced to watch this film a second time. After Godzilla. <laughs> right after See, watching listen, Godzilla listen, 98. Listen. The, the good news is the first time we watched this movie, we, we started with a horror film that I actually enjoyed, which was Santa Slay. Fuck. And you didn't like it because it had Goldberg in it, and it was about a killer Santa Claus. There is a Santa Claus. And you're like, okay, well, let's follow up with this killer turkey movie I talked about for the last, like, six and a half years, because you've never seen the fucking movie, Michael. And I'm like, okay, fine, I'll go balls the wall with it. And then you about fucking died three to four <laughs> different times. See, see, Michael. You almost had a mirror bashed on your head. No, I'm not mad. Wait, wait, guys, the fans just, they just, they just messaged in, and they like to tell us, They'd like to tell us that, uh... They're demanding a Thanksgiving 3 review? <laughs> no. <laughs> they want us to watch the musical. Maybe on your time, your time, and your time. <laughs> but I won't be there for that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> joking now. 
See, the thing is, is that I had like a whole little fucking skit with like a prop for this goddamn review, but I have no fucking energy to do it right now. <laughs> I had a prop ready to go, I but I have prop. no energy because I hit it. Was it? I was gonna go get it, was put it? it on, and come sit back down. But was you know it a what? <laughs> or was it some some twine? <laughs> <laughs> we roped Mike in on this one. <laughs> Insert bad pun. <laughs> I feel like that's what happened because I sat here and I, I guess, technically begged Stone to come over here to watch Godzilla 98 with us just to show Dylan how bad it is. And the only way we can get you to come over here is if Dylan was like, hey, hey, let's torture Mike and have him watch Thanksgiving too. I think he was going he over here. He informed me of not this. I told him the other day, oh, by the way, I'm off on Sunday. We can totally watch Godzilla. He was like, oh, okay, I'll let him know. And then... Double feature. <laughs> so you were unaware of this the entire time. I was time. unaware. <laughs> I did not know this was going to happen. I was at volleyball. Oh, Michael. <laughs> Let's just take this away from him before he says I something. I guess technically no the thing's killing wasn't required, but it was much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> My review rating for this film remains the same as it was the last time, and it will appear on the screen right now. This doesn't deserve a rating. If you've ever watched any of the reviews that we did, we watched the movie Feast, and my review, I gave it, can be described in one word, booty. <laughs> Complete, total booty. I give this movie a ranking of gravy. God! No! <laughs> <laughs> no! You know what the sad part is? I feel like this review of me filling my brain just fucking destroyed itself you need... and melt is sobering me right now. Bro. There was already gravy on the condom. We don't need any more gravy. <laughs> I'm just glad he didn't last very long because that scene was hella awkward. Yes, it was. Well, they were both fully clothed even before the turkey showed up. Yeah, but so. That was more listen, weird than listen, if they were. Listen, being... listen, if you're saying that one scene was awkward and not the entire fucking movie is awkward, no, the rest you of, don't know. That was, was the, great. the most awkward. That was very awkward. Oh, it was horrifying. I, I saw what was happening, and it was like a fucking car crash in slow motion. I was like, no. No. Okay, please okay, don't no. Have this okay. No! Okay, we can all admit... That, that like weird when they told the story in the back and it's like oh this guy must have been like the, the redneck's ancestor <laughs> insert weird picture of the redneck <laughs> or the like the one moment where they're just like we're gonna walk from this building 15 feet to the truck but we're gonna speed it up so it takes half a second <laughs> <laughs> then slow it down you see that's one thing I, I, I actually you actually brought that up and the fact that they were like, oh, well, the, the guy must be your ancestor, it was never brought up ever again. Yeah, no, it was if, mentioned, and then... If he was the one that killed him, then it might have made sense or something. Well, like, I even asked, For oh, really? is it his dumbass puka shell necklace that's the yeah, fucking talisman that I you could. need to destroy the turret? No, no, that no. would make too much sense. Oh, that was a funny thing. They took the talisman, they didn't even show, it was just like... They, they didn't like, fucking use like, it for anything. The talisman, they put it in his pocket, and pulled out the string. <laughs> Rope. The, well, okay. the, the high tensile um, strength and, rope. Yes. And, and the rope, the way they tied it, he was literally like, I got you, buddy. No, he didn't even do it twice. <laughs> he just went, he just went, whoop, and you're caught. <laughs> okay, time for our favorite segment. Do -do 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 -do. Science time with Josh. Mm. This movie ain't got nothing to do with science. Hazardous waste <laughs> turning the turkey. <laughs> At least he didn't later to hazardous waste. Ha ha. Takes a nap, wakes up. My friend's dead on the kitchen floor. Like, literally nothing about any of the human characters' interaction makes any fucking sense anyway. But, like, <laughs> there, are, there are three guys and two girls, and both girls want to have sex with the one guy. The nerdy guy wants to have sex with someone, and we have anyone. to assume anyone, anyone. literally anyone in that, in that vehicle. He, he just wants to have sex with someone in that vehicle. Probably and we right have then. To, we have to assume that it, it's the redneck because of the friendship scene later. Because it's... Um, in the vehicle. But like the 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 slutty girl uh, is is just constantly hitting on Johnny, who's like a a forty five year old 
a uh, college student <laughs> who's like going to be the quarterback of the football team or some dumb bullshit like that. Slutty girl keeps hitting on him uh, and and uh, virgin homely girl, which is like her role for the for the 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 horror movie uh, tropes. <laughs> Uh, ends up with him and he's like oh I'm just sitting here with my girlfriend at the end and she's like oh my god I'm your girl like we've had no interaction through this whole movie but oh my god I get to be your girlfriend (laughs) nothing nothing (laughs) makes any sense one think, kiss, not the thing, the thing is, the reason why I'm laughing right now because I know me in the future is going to be fucking dying laughing at re- editing your reaction to this. <laughs> and I'm going to make... I'm, gonna, I'm just... I, I just know I'm going to laugh at this in the future. Just for ignore. the moment, for the moment, you cannot laugh because you are in so much pain. I am aware. I feel like I'm in fucking trauma right now. <laughs> The review. actual review number, because I actually gave, I don't know exactly what I gave. Gravy. Feast. I'd give it a good three and a quarter. The splinter was the most, ex- in my hand, is the most exciting part of this movie. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> what is <laughs> The movie Feast, I said I gave it a rating of booty, but I actually gave it a number. I thought up the number for this one a while ago, and it's a negative two. A negative two. What? Because, because... A negative two out of five or a negative two out of ten? I want my time back. Even though it was hilarious. It was 67 minutes, but I still want those 67 minutes back. But on a a B movie scale. uh, But... This isn't even a B movie, This son. is like a this Z is a movie. D movie. This is a Z movie. Like, you, it goes past F. It goes uh, to Z. <laughs> Jokes aside, like, seriously. Who allowed this movie to be on a streaming <laughs> service? Listen, if you Like, have... somebody, somebody had to upload this to whatever the frick we watched <laughs> it on <laughs> and say, this is okay. And Amazon has a dot... Audacity to charge money for it. How much? Yep. How much? Seven dollars. <laughs> Wait, is that purchase I, or rent? Rent. I will pay anyone seven dollars to not watch this movie. And in Godzilla standard, was at, is at three. And they have it in ultra HD. Which is fucking retarded. <laughs> they have it in dumb. In native. Ah! 4K. Ah! They have it in, in native 4K for twenty five dollars. It was movie? probably shot in half an eighty. <laughs> Uh, I was about to say, it definitely was not even like 540p. No, it wasn't. They went to Walmart and bought a $90 camera. I was uh, doing some Googling, and, and I know one of the aspects, they said that the, the, of their special effects, they only spent $100 on special effects. Does that include special? the turkey puppet? Th- that includes the turdy, turkey puppet. The turdy? <laughs> the turdy. It is, in fact, and, a turkey puppet. They probably and, spent money on the turkey coffee, too. And also, uh, a little trivia thing is the only part of the puppet, the original puppet that survived was the head because the rest of it was destroyed in production. Well, I mean, they set it on fire. So. Yes. So that was real. That was not fake. <laughs> I will rather watch the Star Wars Wookiee Christmas special. No. Oh, oh my the god. OG, the OG Star Wars Christmas Burn. special. Yes. <laughs> Then either of the other two. I said the other one looked like it might be better because there's more puppets and like flashy stuff. Now I do not want to watch. <laughs> so again, uh, get your money back. Negative you don't two need your time. and gravy. Um, and gravy. I have also never seen this movie before. It is definitely not getting anything above a three. <laughs> what would you um, give it? A what? Above a half. <laughs> that is a total shock to me. <laughs> However. It was funny enough, even though it was it was horribly written. Uh, all of the special effects are terrible. Um, everything about this movie is bad. But it also had a budget of three thousand five hundred dollars. Before you say anything, you have to think about it. Not like you watched it with us and my jokes. You watched this in a dark room. I watched at this one alone. Oh, in a dark by room. yourself. Okay. And you ripped your eyeballs out. My qu- Am I high in this? No. My- you are sober as fuck. My question oh, is: It gets a negative forty-nine. If some, if somebody <laughs> handed you this this script, 
this is a torture movie. <laughs> if somebody handed you this script and said, "Here's thirty five hundred dollars. I want you to make me a movie about this," I'd punch do you, you think you could away. do better than that? I could have written it better. That's for nope, damn. Nope. They're like, you got to do it just you like this. Use this exact script. <laughs> you're you producing me, it. That's all you're doing. <laughs> if you gave me the seven ninety nine it takes to make to watch it on Amazon, I could have made a better movie. I don't think I could do this for thirty five hundred dollars. Honestly, I don't think that I could either. Because they somehow got away uh, with having this entire cast without paying a single one of them. They have. They had to have not paid a single person involved except in this movie, guy. except for the dead body guy. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. And I guess I, the I slogan on the dude. website on the wiki said, "I can lay with the best of them." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> so, uh, watching this movie. Uh, for a review and taking it in some way relatively seriously i would probably say like a two like a positive two like it's in no way good Mm -mm. um it's it's bad all around but it was made on a thirty five hundred dollar budget probably by a bunch of college students and their parents that said yes. So I was as as I was reading. Um, so the turkey thing was actually uh, like one of those hunting decoy things, mm-hmm. and they and this guy, the special effects guy, dressed it up off extra special effects things from other movies in his college dorm. Um, <laughs> so he he raided the college theater prop and just found whatever he could <laughs> and added it to a duck decoy. Mm-hmm. So you're telling me the producer is the redneck guy. Just grabbed a <laughs> turkey decoy and some feathers off. Oh, I tell you what! Man. Boy, I tell you what, we'll make a movie. It's gonna be fabulous. Watch, he was probably the director for that. Oh no! <laughs> so yeah, that's that's my that's my so, final number for it. It's a it's a two. So because I can respect the hustle. <laughs> so I'm going to see, give I, two I answers to this. <laughs> I'm going to give my review of a ten out of ten. <laughs> Because it is so bad, it breaks the scale and tips it to the maximum level. <laughs> if you think about this in an entertainment value, so sometimes you could watch a movie with some of your friends, and it could just be okay. And you'd be like, wow, that was a pretty okay movie. Yeah, like, like the previous movie we watched, you're like, wow, that was pretty okay. It was, it, at best, it was it terrible. Was surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be. Now, if you show this movie to any group of friends anywhere in the world... You will always, I guarantee you, have some form of entertainment. <laughs> He's got a point. Or, so, that's the thing, There's always going to be that one friend who's always going to fucking hate it. No, there's every friend. Everyone hates this movie. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> real bad. It I real also bad. I find no movie. enjoyment in this film. I get enjoyment from the pain that you any, get. You have no enjoyment. How can you not have any enjoyment? I just want to kill him. By how bad this movie is. It was so bad, I don't feel bad making those really, really, really bad jokes. <laughs> At all. What if this is what they showed the guy from Clockwork Orange to make him go straight? He's like, no, I'm good. No, I don't want to watch that again. You know, like, <laughs> I'd, ra- I'd rather be beat up by people on the street. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Michael, any thoughts about the film? I didn't really hear you give an in-depth review about what you thought about it. There are no thoughts. There are none. <laughs> well, there were no thoughts put into making the movie either, so I guess that's fair. I don't know why when it comes to watching this film two times in a row, but after watching it the first time and then being told or watching it again a second time, my brain immediately shuts down. <laughs> By the words of Mr. Taylor Riley, I'm going to go a little bit lower than the number he said about Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Negative. Yeah, negative that's... 20 million out of zero. <laughs> That's a pretty great number. Negative 20 zero, million out of zero. zero. it's zero. No, it, it's still a negative 20. So as I said, it's so zero, it's so low so it breaks the scale. Because so you can't te- you can't divide by zero. So. <laughs> it says you wail it, you wail I break turkey, get Earth, scale. time, and the world itself. The scale's broken, so that means Michael's vote is 10 out of 10 because it broke the scale. Do you want <laughs> <laughs> On that note. I'm going to regret asking this question. Are there any final thoughts before we close this review out? Because the camera is about to die. Nope. So the question is, is there going to be a review in the future for Thanksgiving 3? No. 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 I will not see that movie. 
I, I thought I asked. This is Mike Check 95 with another Mike Check Productions Mike Check movie review with my cohorts. Krieger Margin 1. Stone. Your boy. I don't know. It's your boy. <laughs> Watch out, demons. It's gonna, your boy. I'm What's up? I'm going to try to sleep tonight. <laughs> try. And we are going to be signing out with this review, and hopefully we'll be able to cleanse our minds. With the power of the internet. With the power of cracking. <laughs> <laughs> Alcohol! <laughs> and maybe some, like, comedy special or something. <laughs> Uh, we'll catch you next time. <laughs> Get this fucking mic out of my hand. <laughs> 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 <laughs>